we are a good two weeks ahead of that and some change there. We do have some cool weather on the way though, but take a look at this map. Every single dot here has already seen 90 or warmer so far this year in 20. Some cool weather on the warmth here and areas in the south have not seen it. And yes, more records. Not 90s, but close to it. We're talking upper 80s in Caribou. The record high is 89 degrees. Again, we should be in the uh, low 70s, upper 60s this time of the year. And by the way, our average first 90 is the end of June. So we're a month ahead of schedule. But as that forecast shows you, we do see some cooler weather on the way for all of New England. I know, Chris, you have more on the cool down that many are, are waiting for desperately across this part of the world. Believe though places like Atlanta, Montgomery have yet to even hit 90, and yet we're already way surpassing that here into the Northeast and states like New England. All right, there's a look at Burlington, Vermont, 82 degrees. It's hot. People in shorts and t-shirts. I'm sure the ice cream shops are a big hit today and lately, uh, just in time for the unofficial start of summer. But there is going to be a cool down on the way. So maybe another 36 hours of some hot, muggy weather, and then we'll look for a reprieve. There's a look at the weather right now. A few showers kind of dissipating here in western New York. We are tracking a line of storms in the Delmarva, moving out toward Chesapeake Bay. We're tracking these storms. If you're at the beach here in Ocean City, Maryland, and areas across southern parts of Delaware, Rehoboth Beach, down towards the part of Virginia that extends on the Delmarva, you're going to be running into rain here sh shortly. It's pretty sunny out there right now, but be mindful. Check behind you as you're out in the sand. There are going to be storms pushing that direction. We're kind of squashed between a blocking ridge of high pressure to our east out over the Atlantic and also across the west. Those are where we got the heat. That's why it's so hot. But there's some cooler weather di dipping into the Great Lakes, and that's what's going to finally kick this out. Um, once and for all. We will see a big drip, uh, drop in the numbers once our front comes through just in time for the weekend. So we're looking at highs running from the 80s, even near 90 degrees. They'll be dropping. Before that happens, though, we are going to be seeing that risk for severe storms, mostly damaging winds. That'll be the case here on Friday, especially around Albany and Syracuse. Getting into upset. State New York and northern New England. If you're going to be camping this weekend, storms are going to be a possibility, at least on the front end of the weekend. You might want to postpone your outdoor plans maybe till Saturday because then things clear out, cool down as well. It's going to be beautiful here by the time we head towards the middle to end of the weekend. Rain still to come. This will not be a flash flood potential, but a couple of inches on the higher end, especially in the highest of elevations, and then a big drop in those temperatures. All right, let's take a live look outside at Richmond, Virginia. We've been tracking some spotty uh, thunderstorms, not far away. Temperatures here have been kind of cloudy and cooler. It's humid though, so it doesn't feel refreshing at all. 77 degrees. Let's get a look here at the activity really starting to fire up. Not a lot of severe weather in the southeast. However, Texas, that is where the warnings are coming in left and right. We got a couple of larger thunderstorms, strong and severe now, east of Houston. And we're tracking this line of storms moving towards Memphis. We're going to be tracking this in the next 30 minutes. Heads up, if you have friends in Memphis or you're outside, Time to start thinking about getting inside now. I know it was sunny, but storms are coming through. A lot of wind in there, and we're also tracking heavy rain, steady rains, and flash flooding here around Traverse City, where there have been reports of even water rescues and three to two to three feet of water covering roads. Hey, Boston. Atlanta. Hola, Miami. Local Now is here for you. Hi, New York. Hey, LA. Chicago. To get you through life's new normal. Hey, America. Trust me, you're gonna love this. Come on. Two tablespoons of sugar. But kind of near average on This is the place to be. Something for everyone. Local now. Download for free in your favorite app store. From roof to foundation, the damage to your home can be devastating from clogged gutters, leaking roofs, rotting wood and fascia, and flooded basements. Protect your entire home with Leaf Filter, the nation's number one rated gutter protection system. Once our ladders go up, you can put yours down forever. One of the things that I like the most is that I don't have to get back on the ladder anymore. Leaf Filter starts by cleaning, sealing, and realigning your gutters. We then install our micro mesh screen over your existing gutters, which is guaranteed to filter out everything except for water. 
trying other products is what made us finally go to Leaf Filter. And Leaf Filter's lifetime transferable warranty makes it an extraordinary value. Leaf Filter is going to make my home more valuable, especially when I go to sell it. Call 833-LEAF-FILTER or go to GetLeafFilter.com for your free gutter inspection and estimate. Call or log on today and save 15%. Attention, anyone on Medicare. Did you know you may now be eligible for additional Medicare-approved benefits, including free home meal delivery, free home prescription delivery, in-home aids, and at-home telehealth visits with your doctor? Tell me, are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? If you're not 100% sure, it's time to call the Medicare helpline. You could be eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan with no co-pays and no deductibles that includes dental and vision coverage, prescription drug coverage, free gym membership, and no monthly premiums. That's no as in zero. The Medicare Helpline is now open. The call is free. Call now to instantly find out if you're eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan that includes additional benefits. You don't get these automatically, so call and see if you're eligible. The call is free and there is no obligation to enroll. It's time to call the Medicare Helpline and get all the benefits you deserve. Call 800-464-9779 or go to MedicareHelpline.com. That's 800-464-9779. With Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh, it's not just a sandwich. Far from it. It's a reason to come together. It's a taste of something good. A taste we could all use right now. So let's make the most of it and make every sandwich count with Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh. Do I use a toothpaste that whitens my teeth or one that's good for my teeth? Now I don't have to choose. Crest 3D White. It removes up to 95% of surface stains and strengthens enamel. From the number one toothpaste brand in America, Crest. Jim and Joanne are here to pick up the same prescription. They both know the system is not on their side. They both know drug costs are out of control. But one of them is taking back control with GoodRx. Next. So while he's paying that much, even with his insurance, she's paying this much just by using GoodRx. Use GoodRx to compare prices at pharmacies in your area and stop paying too much for your prescriptions. Download the free app today and take back control. What if people with type 1 diabetes had the power to manage their condition without finger sticks? To always know their glucose levels and where they're heading with just a glance at their smart device. The power to make treatment decisions, to customize alerts and alarms to help keep them in range. The power to lower their A1C. All this knowledge, powered by a small wearable. The Dexcom G6. Welcome back into Weather Center Live. We are tracking numerous storms now, firing up with the daytime heating that we start to see this time of the day in the southeast and across the eastern seaboard, also here into the southern plains. Let's zoom in a little bit more closely in Texas. That's where we have the most severe thunderstorm warnings. Also where we have the highest risk of strong to severe weather today. Can't even rule out the risk of a tornado. Not an extremely high risk by any stretch of the imagination, but areas there near Del Rio again are all going to be problem spots. Let's zoom in here into central and even west Texas, not far from San Angelo, where we've had a couple thunderstorms really just 
blow up in the last hour. Notice how it was clear and then boom, there's those thunderstorms. This has produced um, severe limits for parts of Concho, Runnels, and Tom Green counties until 1.45 p.m. That includes you around Eden, Miles, and Paint Rock just east of San Angelo. So heads up there. Then we want to jump over here to Memphis where we've actually now have a severe thunderstorm warning for the south side of the metro area. Let's zoom in just a little bit closer there and we can show you what we're looking at. This includes parts of Panola, Tate and Tunica counties, Coldwater, Como, and Senatobia get inside now as these storms approach you. Damaging winds really going to be our biggest risk with these. So Memphis is going to be a problem spot to watch and we've got tower cams we're going to be monitoring here at the Weather Channel in the next 30 minutes or so. But Paul, you know, the heat is another side of the story. And we're not talking about the Northeast. We're talking about places like in the Southwest where we're going to see likely the hottest temperatures yeah. that we've seen so far this year. And some people love it saying, oh, it's a dry heat. It's not that bad. It's still hot. We're talking 109, 110 degrees possible. And by the way, pre-monsoon time is some of the hottest days of the year you'll see in the Southwest, but this is getting crazy. To Tucson we go, 95 degrees right now. We are sizzling here, barely a cloud in the sky. And by the way, uh, Tucson, Arizona, we're under an excessive heat warning right on through this weekend. Temperatures 108, 109, 110, not out of the question here across the region, but it's not just there in Tucson. You can move up towards the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, even up towards uh, Las Vegas, uh, the desert southwest, even in the Central Valley of California, and in heat advisory for the Bay Area of California, including almost to the coast, the entire Bay Area. Watch out, Berkeley, Oakland, and Richmond, you could be sizzling as well. So look at the southwest here. We can see some record highs, either tied or broken. Vegas getting pretty close to one today. Our forecast is 108. The record is 109 degrees. Fresno could tie that 107 degree uh, mark, which is a record. That's all because of high pressure building in, sinking air, clearing skies. You saw the blue sky there in Tucson. Barely a cloud in the sky to reduce the heating of the sun coming in here. But it's not just Arizona. It bubbles into areas of Idaho and Montana and Wyoming as we head later into uh, this week, into the weekend as well, and potential highs all across the far west here and the Intermountain West as well. Even tomorrow, Reno, mid-90s, your record is uh, 97 degrees. And yeah, even, uh, towards Saturday, there we go. Parts of Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, we too are in the upper 80s, even Boise close to 100 degrees. That forecast of 98 could tie the record set back in 1986. And Chris, uh, this heat continues across the southwest as we head uh, on into this weekend, too. And it's hard to believe some of the same spots we're seeing snow just about five days ago. <laughs> and we're going to be in the 90s. All right, well, heat is one thing all three of these southwestern cities have in common but they share something else too. They're part of a concerning trend. They're all getting warmer, in fact, hotter in some cases from Las Vegas to Phoenix to Tucson. Take a look, Las Vegas topping the list. In fact, the Southwest is the fastest warming region in the lower 48 and several Southwestern metro areas topping the list of fastest warming US cities. Case in point, Las Vegas. Between 1970 and 2018, the city warmed by over five and a half degrees Fahrenheit, that far outpacing the national average of about 1.6 degrees Fahrenheit since 1895. So as temperatures climb, here's a reminder for parents. If you're running out with the kids to pick up supplies, groceries, doing some errands, be mindful of the heat and don't leave them in the vehicle. Meteorologist Chris Warren has some tips that could help save lives. When temperatures climb, cars heat up quickly. It doesn't matter your socioeconomic status. It doesn't matter your race. It doesn't matter your age. This is happening to everyone. Beth Brown knows that firsthand. She lost her daughter after her husband accidentally left the infant in the family car. And it doesn't even have to be that hot outside. Even on a mild 70 degree day, a car can turn into an oven in less than an hour, quicker as the mercury climbs. It was October 6, 2010. No sleep, you know, I'm not getting a lot of sleep. I actually thought I dropped to my daycare. In Jennifer Hilton's case, her son survived. But stories like theirs happen far too often. Factors such as stress and fatigue, change of routine and distractions can lead to unknowingly leaving a child behind. And the body temperature of a child heats up three to five times quicker than an adult. To avoid a tragedy, try leaving a toy on the front seat or put something you'll need like a phone, a purse, or a briefcase in the back. 
Place the car seat in the middle to make it easier to see. And consider setting up a system with your child care provider to confirm a drop-off every day. It was my baby. She was my precious cargo. These are extraordinary times, and we want to thank the extraordinary people in the healthcare community working to care for all of us. At Novartis, we promise to do our part. As always, we're doing everything we can to help keep Cosentix accessible and affordable. If you have any questions at all, call us, email us, visit us online. We are here to help support you when you need us. Take care and be well. To learn more, call 1-844-COSENTIX or visit Cosentix.com. At Carvana, no matter what car you buy from us, you get the freedom of a seven-day return policy. This isn't some dealership test drive around the block. It's better. This is seven days to put your Carvana car to the test and see if it fits your life. Load it up with a week's worth of groceries. Take the kiddos out for ice cream. Check that it has enough wiggle room in your garage. You get the time to make sure you love it. And on the sixth day, we'll reach out and make sure everything's amazing. If so, excellent. If not, swap it out for another or return it for a refund. It's that simple. Because at Carvana, your car happiness is what makes us happy. Good morning. Your treatment. We're going to try something different today. Oh, so pretty. Dogs bring out the good in us. Pedigree brings out the good in them. And we've upgraded her with a sonic shield. Impressive. There is one more thing. Huh, Jake from State Farm. Here's the deal. With the Drive Safe and Save app, you'll save up to 30% for being a safe driver. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Clean is a feeling. It's the simple joy of washing your hands without ever touching a faucet. It's the little things that matter. That's why we create moments to feel Kohler clean every day. I looked at partial bridges. I looked at dentures. Out of all the options, Clear Choice was the only choice for me. All the specialists with all the technology they need are in one spot. That makes delivering this 21st century world-class dentistry very convenient, and we do it in one day. Call today to schedule your free comprehensive consultation. We'll even talk financing options while you're here. I can laugh, people crack a joke, and I smile. It was a life-changing thing. Call Clear Choice today. It's time to get miserable. Woman farts during surgery, sets operating room on fire. I'm still caught on the first two words. Women fart? We have searched high and low for the world's most miserable moments. All you have to do is tell us where they land on the misery index. Man shoots at armadillo, bullet hits mother-in-law. The mother-in-law probably had it coming, knowing most mother-in-laws. The stars of Impractical Jokers join host Jamila Jamil in the misery index. All new tonight at 10.30 on TBS. You're ready to drive again, and not just to the neighborhood store. In a new Honda, you can enjoy the open road with powerful performance. And your money can go farther too, because Honda holds its value better than any other auto brand. Your Honda dealer is offering flexibility, like shopping online, so you can purchase with confidence. Get your new Honda today, KBB.com's 2020 Best Value Brand. Hey Boston, Atlanta, Hola Miami, Local Now is here for you. Hi New York, Hey LA, Chicago, to get you through life's new normal. Hey America, trust me, you're gonna love this. Come on. Two tablespoons of sugar. But kind of near average. This is the place to be. Something for everyone. Local Now. Download for free in your favorite app store. Well, those were scenes from yesterday, and here we go again. A very similar setup here across the southeast. A lot 
of similar images can be expected this afternoon. Storms are really starting to pop and now that we're, you know, a little after 2 20 here across the eastern seaboard, uh, 120 in the central part of the country. So we're getting to the latter half of the afternoon, getting enough daytime heating to spark off these storms. The Rio Grande Valley areas here in central and south Texas going to be the spot of most concern, but we will also see storms here in Denver, a little pocket there in the front range, and then that will stretch back through the southeast uh, and parts of the mid-Atlantic areas from West Virginia into the Appalachian, central PA all can expect scattered thunderstorms, kind of just painted broadly here across the board. All right, let's fast forward this, and I'm going to, my, my clicker, oh, I got one. Let me actually grab, I'm going to have Brandon click for, oh, here's the other one. We got clickers left and right over all over the place. Um, let's go forward and show you where we expect some of the worst when it comes to flooding. Flash flooding is certainly going to be a possibility uh, from Kansas City, uh, eastern Iowa, Wisconsin, Green Bay, Milwaukee, down to Madison, and then especially here in northern Michigan, we're actually seeing some serious issues around uh, Traverse City there in Grand Traverse County. So heads up there, be mindful. There probably are numerous roads that have been covered in water. That is what we have seen in Traverse City, where we do have that flash flood warning in effect until 4.45 p.m., and there are more heavy thunderstorms just off to your south and east. So we'll continue to track this. It's all thanks to our stalled out boundary here in the upper Midwest. Now in the Southeast, we've got a plethora of thunderstorms. We actually have a tower cam. We can show you Jacksonville right now. Let's show you what we're looking at. Let's zoom in first on the radar. There we go. We got a thunderstorm that has just popped up here in downtown Jacksonville. You're about ready to see some very heavy rainfall, probably some gusts in excess of 45 miles per hour. Look how hot it got before the clouds came in. 89 degrees, but those temperatures are going to drop very quickly. Torrential downpours. This isn't a severe thunderstorm warning, but certainly going to be tough getting around the city right now for lunch or afternoon errands. There's a look at that storm that has popped up pretty much right over the I-10, I-95 junction, and there along parts of 295 there on the north side of the city. A lot of thunderstorms elsewhere, too, popping up from Georgia into Mississippi. Memphis is another spot to watch along with several cities here in Texas. Paul. Hey, Chris, we're also watching the Mid-Atlantic, the Northeast, for some storms popping up today and tomorrow. Let's take you on towards Philadelphia right now. We've seen a few scattered showers out there, but uh, we have a better chance of more persistent showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. But today, upper 70s we go, and it's also very muggy out here as well. Our dew point's well in the mid-60s. It feels like August. It feels like July. does not feel like May 28th, but I guess they say what... Uh, Memorial Day is the unofficial start of summer. It feels like summer for sure. Stubborn ridge of high pressure keeping us hot and humid up and down the eastern seaboard. But we do have a little disturbance coming through. That's going to finally kind of nudge this high out of the way as we head on through the day tomorrow into the weekend. And then behind this front, cooler, drier air. But ahead and along that front, we got showers and thunderstorms. Some of these can be pretty nasty as we had today, but definitely tomorrow across the region. But then the drier air comes on in from chopping at the bit there to get to the coast at the Jersey Shore, perhaps Long Island. This weekend looks pretty nice. It's going to be cooler. It's going to be lower humidity, and it will be dry. we got to get through today and tomorrow across the region. And notice the water vapor imagery, plenty of juice being strewn up the eastern seaboard, and eventually that means showers and thunderstorms as a colder, cooler, drier air tries to push into warm, moist, and stable air. That means a very stormy Friday. And look at the temperatures kept down because the clouds a little bit, but then by Saturday, ah, lower humidity and drier weather moves on in. Even 60s, that's it for highs in Buffalo, Bangor, gone in the 90s, upper 70s by Saturday afternoon. Chris? So with the threat for thunderstorms, microbursts are always going to be a possibility. You got to check out this must watch video here in Houston. Notice too, see that little little glob we can call it? That's the microburst just a heavy torrent of rain and cold air that gets pulled down from the higher levels of the atmosphere. So how do these form? We get that dry air aloft. These thunderstorms can tower over 30, 40, even nearly 50,000 feet in altitude, and that's a lot colder. So then as you get these hailstones to melt and evaporate, it pulls that rain-cooled air downward and a very torrent of strong winds. They hit the surface and spread outward, and these can be very destructive. For every staircase supporting a grand entrance, 
door frames marking milestones, and floors kissed by bare feet. Protect the pure joy of home with Terminix. We're committed to keeping termites out of your home with our all-new OnGuard termite protection system. Always backed by the Terminix promise to keep your home strong enough for all the love it holds. Call 1-800-TERMINIX today. Attention, anyone on Medicare. Did you know you may now be eligible for additional Medicare-approved benefits, including dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage? Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you qualify. The Medicare Benefits and Questions line is now open to help anyone on Medicare make sure you are getting the benefits you deserve. Just call 800-310-1847 now to find out if you're eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan that includes additional benefits like free hearing aids, free eyeglasses, free meal delivery, and free rides to medical appointments. You may also be eligible for $0 monthly premiums, $0 deductibles, or no copays. Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you qualify for additional benefits. There is no obligation to enroll. The call and Medicare benefits review are absolutely free. Did you know you may be eligible for additional benefits with a Medicare Advantage plan that includes additional benefits like dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage? The Medicare benefits and questions line is now open to help anyone on Medicare make sure you are getting the benefits you deserve. Just call 800-310-1847 now to find out if you're eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan that includes additional benefits like free hearing aids, free eyeglasses, free meal delivery, and free rides to medical appointments. You may also be eligible for $0 monthly premiums, $0 deductibles, or no copays. Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you qualify for additional benefits, including dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. There is no obligation to enroll. The call and Medicare benefits review are absolutely free. Just call 800-310-1847. 800-310-1847. How can Experian Boost help you? Oh, I love it. Seriously, it was amazing. Like, I raised our credit score. At first, I thought it was just a commercial on TV, but now it actually really helped me out. Woo! <laughs> boost your credit scores instantly. Free at Experian.com slash boost. Duracell Optimum will be right where you need them today, tomorrow, the day after that, and the day after that, day after day. Packaging designed to make storage easier. Duracell Optimum. Coming up tonight on the Weather Channel at 8, world's deadliest weather. And at 9, deadline to disaster. And at 10, May Day air disaster. Hurricane Katrina is now making its second land. Very strong winds in this northern eye wall. The water is actually rushing over their seawalls. With 150 mile an hour winds, it just continues to get worse. It's starting to get a little bit dangerous. The water kept rising and it kept rising. It was surreal. It was like something that you see in the movies. I knew in my mind it was only a matter of time before that water got into the building. We got 13 people in this boat. I said, oh Lord, I don't know where to bring these people to. There's buildings coming down all around us. Please call my next of kin and tell them I love them because I know I'm going to die. Well, you can catch an all-new episode of Deadline to Disaster airing this Sunday at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, right here on the Weather Channel. And speaking of the tropics, it was rain from our second-named tropical system of the year, damping the track here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. So the uh, Osco Uniforms 500 will run tonight instead. Organizers postponed the Wednesday start time after heavy rain from what was Tropical Storm Bertha. If you're joining us again, Tropical Storm Bertha, when, what, huh, the, the who, the, yeah, Bertha was about it though. Bertha was named yesterday at 8.30 in the morning, roughly an hour later, it made landfall in South Carolina. This thing we're watching off the coast of Florida a couple of days ago. And there it is, making landfall yesterday morning, our second named uh, tropical system of the year, and we're not quite into June yet. 
June 1st is Monday, the official start. So here's the history of this. There was kind of a disturbed area of bringing heavy rain to South Florida, Miami area. Some areas got a foot of rain in a couple of days that it quickly kind of organized briefly yesterday and brought that moisture in the circulation and some gusty winds onshore to the low country there in South Carolina and then moved that moisture inland to North Carolina into the Appalachians. And that's all that rain we always talk about. It's the inland impacts and the other impacts. Again, systems aren't points, they're systems. So you see that moisture even giving rain and flooding into uh, parts of West Virginia as well. So uh, still, Chris, we have been dealing with the moisture of this now streaming into the Northeast from a short-lived tropical storm. Yeah, I mean, it lasted a mere couple of hours, right? Well, the Atlantic hurricane season officially begins on Monday, and right on target, some models are hinting that there may be something to track going into next week. Dr. Greg Postel shows us what, where, and why. Clouds right now are gathering across parts of the eastern Pacific in anticipation of tropical development over the next few days emerging from this area. And let's have a look at the Hurricane Center's odds of indeed that happening. 80% chance it looks like within the next five days of some kind of tropical system coming out of this zone right in here in this hatched area in red. And notice that it is on the Pacific side of Central America. But there's more to the story than that because what this represents is I think a larger area where atmospheric support for tropical development will over the next one to two weeks grow beyond the Eastern Pacific and potentially extend into parts of the Western Caribbean Sea and maybe even the Gulf of Mexico. Nothing of course right now, but it is something to watch because some of the larger scale controls hemispherically are kind of moving in that general direction. Now one way to kind of look at that is not to focus on the details of course beyond a few days. That's not what this is about. We're looking at sort of the area of unsettled weather growing using the amount of precipitation forecasted by the models. Again, skip the details, but look at that zone that we start to see growing with the precipitation and then from that an increased chance, and I would also say an increasing chance of some kind of tropical development perhaps in the Western Caribbean or Gulf of Mexico a long way out, but maybe toward the end of next week. Going back in history, it's happened before. This is the development locations going back since the middle of the last century in the first 10 days of June. It doesn't happen that often, but at the same time, it's not exactly rare. Something to keep in mind as we head forward into the first week of June. So we're about four days away from the official beginning of hurricane season, which begins Monday. And your best bet is to prepare for anything. Home improvement expert Danny Lifford shows us what to do when a storm is headed your way. Hi, I'm Danny Lifford from Today's Homeowner. If you've never experienced a hurricane and you just found out you're in the path of one, here are three things you need to do right now. First, secure everything you possibly can. Anything outside your home that can be moved should be. Hurricane force winds can turn something as simple as a barbecue grill or a patio chair into a projectile. Move small items inside your home or in your garage if possible. If your home has hurricane shutters, now is the time to install them. Next, you'll want to gather the essentials before you evacuate, if that's part of your plan. That means medications, important documents like insurance policies and cash. After a storm, power outages often make electronic payment options difficult or impossible. Finally, it's time to stock up and charge up. Fill the car with gas and buy fuel for the generator if you have one. Even if they have power, gas stations often have a limited supply immediately after a storm. The same is true for food and water. Remember that hurricanes can compromise municipal water systems, so don't count on them for an endless supply of water. And of course, you'll want to charge up your phones and tablets so you can stay in touch with your family and get the latest updates on the weather. And believe it or not, we have already seen two named systems, Arthur and now Bertha, and the official Atlantic hurricane season has yet to begin. That doesn't start until Monday. If we get another storm, the next name on the list would be Cristobal. If you love peanut butter most, this cup has your name on it. If you love chocolate most, this cup has your name on it. Not literally, that'd be a logistical nightmare, especially if we used last names, <sighs> then we'd have to do both sides. Reese's lovers, yeah, they're back. This is one, so is this, and so are these. They all represent something more. 
the feeling of home. That's why we're here, to help make your home be everything you want it to be. Because home is what unites us. I was missing teeth. It was painful to chew. And that's what originally drove me to Clear Choice. When a patient comes in for their free consultation, oftentimes they're not happy with their dentures. Dental implant procedures, they're more permanent. The materials are made with a higher level of technology. Implants are like normal teeth. I can now eat whatever I want. It's wonderful. Introducing the future of fitness. It's every class you can imagine. Live. Welcome back to the mirror. You've got this, John. And on demand. It's boxing, cardio, yoga, and more. It's an interactive, goal-crushing, whole family, whole body fitness machine. It's so cool. The future of fitness is at home. The mirror. These days, it's anything but business as usual. That's why working together is more important than ever. AT&T is committed to keeping you connected so you can keep your patients cared for, your customers served, your students inspired, and your employees closer than ever. Our network is resilient. Our people are strong. Our job is to keep your business connected. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. Bud Light Seltzer, available for delivery. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. I'm Mike Ditka. Tell me, are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? If you're not 100% sure, it's time to call the Medicare helpline. You could be eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan with no co-pays, no deductibles that includes dental and vision coverage, prescription drug coverage, free gym memberships, and no monthly premiums. That's no as in zero. If you're not 100% sure you're getting all the benefits you deserve, it's time to call the Medicare Helpline. The Medicare Helpline is now open. Call now to instantly find out if you qualify to save money and get extra benefits including prescription drug coverage, dental and vision coverage, free gym membership, and more with no monthly premiums. Your call is free and there's no obligation to enroll. Call the Medicare Helpline and get all the benefits you deserve. Call 800-651-4193 or go to MedicareHelpline.com. That's 800-651-4193. Is that coming this way? Active tornado warnings in effect. I wasn't sure that I was going to walk away from the situation. They just went to hell. F the roof just get ripped off. We're under fire. When that came down, I yelled. I don't want to drown in the storm. Guys, we've got cars floating again. Oh my gosh. Truly, it was the scariest moment of my life. Don't miss all new episodes of World's Deadliest Weather and Deadline to Disaster. Sunday nights on the Weather Channel. Well, you only have to watch this time-lapse video of the storms that rolled over Florida's space coast to know that the return of manned space flights to U.S. soil probably would not happen yesterday. Look at those clouds. Oof. 
Yeah, less than a half hour before the planned liftoff of the SpaceX mission, the official word came down. We basically scrubbed due to three rules that we were violating. Uh, both, all three would have been expected to clear 10 minutes after our Q0 time. And those three were natural lightning, the fugue mills, and the attached anvil. It's all about timing. Take a look at this uh, radar recap. About 24 hours ago, you notice it did clear right after the launch window that was there, but yeah, the launch window is open and closed. Let's talk about this, the go and no-go, because we definitely had a no-go yesterday. It's uh, got to do with the winds, it has to do with lightning in the area, and even the cloud layer, how low those clouds go, and how cold those clouds are, all things that could be well, impactful to a uh, space liftoff, a, a spacecraft liftoff. So definitely a big concern for weather. Our weather windows, though, reopening this weekend. Saturday and Sunday, uh, Saturday's time at 3.22 in the afternoon, Sunday's time at 3 o'clock if Saturday is a no-go. But what about the forecast? Trying to get something without clouds or showers in Florida in May, especially late May, it's a struggle. The forecast right now, just check this out with our uh, forecast models. About a 40% chance of thunderstorms here in the Space Coast, but the timing window, 322, it's kind of like trying to forecast if you boil a pot of water where that first bubble or where that first bubble will pop up. If it pops up close enough, it's a problem. If it pops up far enough away, the launch is a go. And the forecast for rain also still in the area for your Sunday, although Saturday's percentage of thunderstorms or chance for rain higher on Saturday than it is for Sunday. So if we do not get a chance to go on Saturday, Sunday's window looks a little bit better than Saturday. And we have live coverage here at the Weather Channel ahead of this weekend, all weekend long here on the Weather Channel. Our special coverage comes all afternoon on Saturday, the Falcon 9 rocket with the Dragon capsule at the top, scheduled for liftoff at 322 in the afternoon. And we'll have it for you live here on the Weather Channel. Chris? Well, this was a big concern yesterday in Florida. Fierce lightning. You got to check out this photo. I mean, incredible sight here. You have the sunshine, you're storm clad in the distance, and look at that bolt of lightning. Terrifying here. This was in Martin County. It's about 120 miles south of the Space Coast and a half hour north of West Palm Beach. The Sears Department captured this picture as the lightning appeared. Well, Florida is known as the lightning capital of the United States. Meteorologist Mark Elliott explains why the state faces so much dangerous lightning. Lightning. Warm nights roll in and so does the thunder. Lightning strikes the U.S. about 25 million times each year, but one state sees more strikes than any other. Florida is the lightning capital. On average, just over 20 cloud-to-ground strikes occur per square mile yearly. That is about 1.1 million strikes each year. Florida also sees the greatest number of thunderstorm days per year. Fort Myers experiences on average 88 days with thunderstorms. And Tampa is a close second, with thunderstorms roaring almost 83 days out of the year. Florida is an extremely hot, humid environment. They're sort of like giant capacitors. There's a much stronger charge separation there because of the amount of heat and humidity and the turbulence that creates. So it allows more energy to be stored in those clouds and then when it's released, um, you get more lightning. Florida's closest contender is a small area in northern New Mexico. Cimarron sees thunderstorms about 110 days out of the year. In July, you have a good chance of seeing a thunderstorm every day. Lightning can be fatal. Whether you're in Florida, New Mexico, or anywhere else, take heed during thunderstorms. And when thunder roars, go indoors. Well, will we catch a break from all those thunderstorms for beachgoers here in Miami? Uh, we are going to have that risk of afternoon storms. Best window of opportunity to get outside and some sunshine will be earlier on in the morning. There we go, Vero Beach. You know, as we go farther north here along the east coast, our rain chances increase. And by the time we get up to Daytona Beach, it's a very good likelihood we are going to see widespread showers and storms with temperatures there in the low 80s. Also very wet in the northern part of the state. Here's Pensacola 
Ola, 82 degrees on your Friday. Widespread showers and storms are likely, and that water temperature is warming up. 82 degrees. A little cooler here in Panama City Beach, but we will have a good bet of thunderstorms. And then as we work our way back towards Tampa, St. Petersburg, clear water sitting at 85 degrees with a 60% chance of afternoon thunderstorms. Where will you go first? Will it be familiar streets? Or perhaps unknown roads? Wherever you may go, Lexus will welcome you back with exceptional offers. Find a Lexus for every road at Lexus.com. No payments for up to 90 days on all 2020 Lexus models. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Attention anyone on Medicare. Did you know you may now be eligible for additional Medicare approved benefits including free home meal delivery, free home prescription delivery, in-home aids, and at-home telehealth visits with your doctor? I'm Mike Ditka. Tell me, are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? If you're not 100% sure, it's time to call the Medicare helpline. You could be eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan with no co-pays, no deductibles that includes dental and vision coverage, prescription drug coverage, free gym memberships, and no monthly premiums. That's no as in zero. The Medicare Helpline is now open. The call is free. Call now to instantly find out if you're eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan that includes additional benefits. You don't get these automatically, so call and see if you're eligible. The call is free and there is no obligation to enroll. Call the Medicare Helpline and get all the benefits you deserve. Call 800-376-9229 or go to MedicareHelpline.com. That's 800-376-9229. These are extraordinary times and we want to thank the extraordinary people in the healthcare community working to care for all of us. At Novartis, we promise to do our part. As always, we're doing everything we can to help keep Cosentix accessible and affordable. If you have any questions at all, call us, email us, visit us online. We are here to help support you when you need us. Take care and be well. To learn more, call 1-844-COSENTIX or visit Cosentix.com. This is one. So is this. And so are these. They all represent something more. The feeling of home. That's why we're here. To help make your home be everything you want it to be. Because home is what unites us. The open road, the wind in your hair, the feeling of freedom that drives us to go out and discover. At Chevy, we're committed to getting you there with confidence and peace of mind. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free APR financing for 84 months on many of our most popular models. You may even shop online and take delivery at home where available. And when you do, your Chevy Clean dealers commit to using enhanced vehicle cleaning measures with CDC-approved cleansers, so you can find new roads with confidence. I looked at partial bridges, I looked at dentures. Out of all the options, Clear Choice was the only choice for me. All the specialists with all the technology they need are in one spot. That makes delivering this 21st century world-class dentistry very convenient and we do it in one day. Call today to schedule your free comprehensive consultation. We'll even talk financing options while you're here. I can laugh, people crack a joke, and I smile. It was a life-changing thing. Call Clear Choice today. This is a payday bar, and there's only one thing you need to know about it. It has a truckload of peanuts surrounding sweet caramel. I mean, holy <coughs> look at all those peanuts. Best part is it helps you get through your day. Payday. Get to it. Oh, this is going to hit town. Inside the storm, every second counts. Deadline to Disaster, Sunday nights, only on the Weather Channel. All right, well, storms bringing in lightning. That was the scene yesterday in Austin, Texas. We had a gnarly storm come through late afternoon, right around sunset, and ominous shelf cloud, too, that rolled through just before sunset last night. That was in Austin, Texas. Uh, but that wasn't all. Look at that. Massive hail all over the road here. And in the town of Comfort, Texas, People could scoop up hail by the handful after a fierce storm struck here. Some of the hail tiny, but enough to overflow this man's hands. And as if that was not enough, there was this. Oh, 
And from downtown, yeah, those winds strong enough to blow that basketball hoop over here as storms were crushing Texas City, which is just south of Houston. And yeah, the threat for more storms with damaging winds like that continues again today. Some will target places already trying to recover from severe weather. Others will send yet more rain over places that feel like they've been stormy and soggy for months now. And some of the areas expecting thunderstorms, including Central Tennessee and Nashville. Chris? and Jacksonville. How about that? So we're looking at storms here. We actually have a newly issued severe thunderstorm warning, including parts of the Jacksonville metro area. You're looking live at downtown Jacksonville. You got your St. John's River to your left, the south side of the city to the left. That's the warning area. The other thunderstorm that popped up is just off toward the north now of downtown the Riverwalk. So heads up, time to get inside. A lot of thunder and lightning expected here, Paul. Yeah, 35 in Jacksonville, but a lot warmer into the BTV. That's Burlington, Vermont here, 82 degrees. T-shirts and shorts, uh, definitely something you want to wear to keep yourself cool. Although we do have storms on the way in here as we head into the end of the week and cooler, drier weather for the weekend. We'll have much more on not only the cool down for Burlington, but other areas and also how you could see record heat before the storms get there. That's coming up in about seven minutes. Hey there, good Thursday to you. It's May 28th. You're watching Weather Center Live. Thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist Paul Goodler coming to you from my home studio in Atlanta area. My colleague Chris Bruin is in Weather Channel headquarters there in Atlanta. Hey, Chris. Hey, Paul. Happy Thursday to everyone joining us. We've got uh, a lot of thunderstorms now really firing up. So let's start. I'm in the lab in the Weather Channel, and we can show you here a broad look across the south southeast and parts of Texas. Uh, you've got numerous severe thunderstorm warnings uh, building up now in the central part of the state. Also there in East Texas, those storms weakening. We got a storm uh, near Jacksonville and also some flash flood warnings, which Paul will touch on here in the Midwest. All right, let's start now in North Florida where uh, these thunderstorms have popped up. It's this cell right here meandering towards the Jacksonville metro area that is of utmost concern. This includes Clay and Duval counties um, moving towards the St. John's River. So heads up if you're on a boat, kayaking, uh, doing evening, uh, afternoon runs. This includes you around Bel Air, Meadowbrook Tray Terrace, and Middleburg, also there around Orange Park. So watch out there around Fruit Cove and on the south side of downtown Jacksonville. That 295 Beltway going to be an issue there and as that storm uh, moves towards I-95. All right, let's jump over to Texas now where we've got a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. These storms are probably the most threatening in the whole country right now. This is uh, southern Texas. Here's the Rio Grande. There's the Mexico border. There's Del Rio. We got to watch these storms. They're still far enough away where we got plenty of time to watch it, but we got ample amount of sunshine and daytime heating ongoing right now. So this is for Kimball, Mason, and Minard counties um, until 2:45 p.m. If you live in the town of Minard or Minard. You need to get inside. These are dangerous storms. I think hail, large hail, is going to be a big possibility. If they continue on their uh, forward trajectory, they will move towards Interstate 10 and move into parts of the hill country. So we'll watch out here around San Antonio. We might be in store for another busy day again today. There's a look into Mississippi and Memphis now. These storms moving right into parts of the Memphis metro area, thankfully, thankfully weakening. They did look a lot more potent just to your south. The strongest of this line now, though, is likely going to push right through Oxford. The severe warning that was associated with these storms did expire, so that's good news. But do expect some strong gusty winds, probably over 40 miles per hour, especially in northern Mississippi as these storms roll through. A lot of frequent lightning and very heavy rainfall. Then across the Carolinas, we've got some very heavy rainfall here near Asheville and also across Knoxville and the Smoky Mountains. North Georgia tracking a couple of thunderstorms, but we're actually enjoying some sunshine right now. Enjoy the tranquil weather. We'll spawn more afternoon, evening storms over the next several hours. So we're not out of the woods just yet. And we've got that storm now really pushing into Charlotte on the east side of the Queen City. It looks like a meander just east of downtown. This area has been hit hard with rainfall, so flash flooding is going to be a problem. That storm Paul dumped an inch and a half of rain in less than an hour's time there in Rock Hill just in the last hour. Yeah, I mentioned that heavy rain there. Also heavy rain across the Midwest. Let's take you live to St. Louis where uh, areas just north and west of there are getting dumped on in rain. Look at the blue sky, but 
Look at the puffy clouds. That's juice. Air you can wear. The humidity is up as we look at downtown St. Louis, the old courthouse, as well as the arch there. And no, the arch doesn't go across the Mississippi. And by the way, this camera is actually in Illinois, shooting back there to uh, parts of uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Hey, you get through tonight and uh, late early tomorrow morning. The weekend looks fantastic. We've got some storms we're definitely watching across the area. Here's our forecast. Showers, thunderstorms, heavy rain and flooding is a potential as we head on towards this evening across the area. It's all part of this bigger kind of gyre uh, moving through, kind of a spin disturbance coming on through the Midwest, helping to enhance the uplift of very moist air. And we do have some flash flood warnings as well. St. Louis, seeing some storms well north and east and even south of you. Storms rolling through Effingham and uh, down St. Illinois there. But look north and west of St. Louis, north and west of St. Charles County. Flash flood warning for Lincoln, Montgomery, Pike counties. Reports of uh, three inches of rain in an hour and 20 minutes. No ongoing flooding, but they do expect it to occur shortly. So a flash flood warning until 8 o'clock tonight for that area. Farther west, say, uh, Kansas City still getting dumped on with rain. Flash flood warning for you till 5 o'clock this afternoon, including uh, KC and Overland Park as well. A little farther north. We had on towards uh, the Quad Cities area, seeing some heavy rain roll across the Mississippi and even Waterloo. The rain is ending, but the flash flood warning continues for the next uh, couple of hours there. And also more storms dumped heavy rain in Traverse City. We've seen a lot of rain, so this is really for the city there uh, in Traverse City. The heavy rain and flash flooding is a big concern as more of that rain moves up towards the UP. So the forecast today, scattered, smothered, and covered with scattered showers and thunderstorms. It feels like a summertime air mass out there, giving you summertime-like thunderstorms. Anyone could be isolated strong to severe, but the heavy rain is a big concern. Put a radar in forecast mode. Chicago, you had some rain earlier. It's right now. Later tonight, though, here comes the storms to St. Louis. And even you in Chicago, we go past midnight. We push the storms farther east. And then Friday, St. Louis, even Chicago, you look a lot drier. And wow, St. Louis, the weekend looks fantastic. Mid-70s for highs. And also flash flooding, though, is still a concern this evening across areas of eastern Iowa. Well, speaking of storms, let's take into Texas right now to Brian. Stones throw from College Station there. A lot of Aggies out there. And, whew, yeah, the ping pong of hailstones off the grill, the fire pit out there. At times, even size, a golf ball uh, size hail falling in this part of Texas with some gusty winds and uh, a lot of heavy rain coming down here as well. Let's take it next door to College Station, Texas. And, Look at the strong winds whipping the trees across the area, as well as that bird feeder. In fact, uh, also there in College Station, the iconic bar, the Dixie Chicken, which has a rattlesnake on the premises. Go figures with these Ag Aggies here. They suffered roof damage from these thunderstorms that rolled on through there. And yes, we could see more storms roll through the area as well, working all this tropical moisture across Texas. And speaking of tropical moisture, Chris, we had Tropical Storm Bertha's moisture give some flooding across West Virginia. Yeah, really all of the Appalachians from the Carolinas right on into West Virginia. This was the scene. This is in the town of Spencer. This is what was left of Tropical Storm Bertha that dumped heavy rain on the town. You can see the river nearby spilling over its banks, and that's what you're looking at, the result of all that flooding uh, really creeping very close to some of these homes along the river. More rain though expected again today. And we've got a new video now coming out of the Midwest. This is slow-mo of the rain that was falling in parts of Iowa. This was the state earlier this morning experiencing several flash flood warnings uh, as you were waking up today. Heavy rain still ongoing right now and you can see that water is falling into puddles. So the ground can't hold any more rain and this is going to be a spot to watch. We've seen issues around Green Bay, uh, parts of southern Wisconsin and also there northern Michigan. All going to be spots to watch for flash flooding. It's been very wet here in the Midwest, the southern plains and the southeast, the mid-Atlantic as well. And as far as flash flooding goes, that possibility is there in the Carolinas again, this time in, especially in eastern North Carolina and back towards the Tidewater. So Williamsburg over towards Norfolk and uh, Suffolk, Virginia, uh, just to the west of Virginia Beach, a possibility. Maybe some spotty ponding there near Pittsburgh, and we're, we already saw that flooding now ongoing in Rock Hill because of a thunderstorm. It just popped up and put down a very heavy bit of rain in a short period of time, but it's been so wet 
it's now causing flooding. So scattered thunderstorms, we've been seeing that here across the Piedmont of North Carolina, upstate South Carolina, eastern Tennessee as focal point for scattered thunderstorms. A lot of these aren't going to be severe, but they are going to put down some very heavy rainfall. So that is something we will be watching. And there's that latest severe thunderstorm warning now with that storm well to the east of Atlanta. It's moving towards the South Carolina border. We've got numerous thunderstorms now pulling out towards the Chesapeake Bay and also getting into eastern North and South Carolina. Let's zoom in a little bit close, closer. Here's Interstate 20 just to your north about midway between Augusta and Atlanta. You're going to notice some ominous skies there to the north of the interstate. Thankfully, that is moving away from Augusta. There's a look at the wet weather here across the Carolinas. A lot of this rain isn't moving a whole lot. It's got a slight eastward movement, but it's staying kind of training over the same area. So this will be a spot we really have to watch out for flooding. Some showers and storms kind of popping up there around Raleigh. Future radar showing you a lot of activity here firing up in southern Alabama and Georgia. And some of those may getting into Atlanta again later today and overnight tonight before things then kind of settle back down. All right, we switch gears now. I want to talk about the heat after a cold start to May. You know, I just saw on Twitter, Paul, uh, Caribou Main tying the record right now, 89 degrees. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Close to 90. And then some cities in the south have yet to see a 90 degree day here. So kind of wild weather going on. But let's go back just a couple of weeks into Caribou Main and look at this video here of, yes, snow. This happened on May 9th. And yeah, well, what happened to this season? It's gone. In a matter of weeks, we go from winter to, yeah, middle of summer here. Yeah, drivers navigated treacherous roads as the snow came down. Nearly a half foot of snow within the last month and nearly four feet of snow since the beginning of March. And... Yes, yeah, switch gears now right to summer. Summertime thunderstorms taking shape. This happened yesterday in the Caribou area, a triggering lightning and ominous clouds here, and now scorching heat. We're talking close to 90 right now, and other parts of Maine will be back in the 90s today, and even tomorrow as well. We're talking a lot of heat going on here. Burlington, record high of 95 degrees. Previous record, just Four years ago of 91 degrees, so we've been seeing even Manchester uh, records uh, kind of being set recently. Five years ago, 91 in Manchester, that was beaten by yesterday's 92 degrees here. So, yeah, 95, the average first 90, just 90 in Burlington is a couple of weeks from now. So to see it this early is definitely something to be said. We'll talk more about how long will the heat will last, but... Yeah, every single dot here, including parts of New England, you've seen 90s before many cities in the south that you expect to see an occasional 90 this time of the year. So yeah, the heat is on and popping here. And yes, one more potential record for you in Caribou. 89 is a record. 89 is our forecast. And uh, we can only go up from there in some cities there. And you can see Caribou average first 90 is a month from now. So this is well above average, but not quite record setting uh, across the region. But there is some relief on the way eventually, Chris, but we got to get through some storms as that cooler air gets here. Yeah, so let's show you the pattern in the northeast. There will be a breakdown of the heat once we get through some unsettled weather tomorrow. There's a look right now, pretty quiet. So we are going to be hot again through much of the afternoon. It's not going to really cool down a lot this evening either. We are tracking some storms in the mid-Atlantic. Those are weakening, thankfully, as they push out towards the Chesapeake Bay. There's a broader look at kind of the pattern that we're in here across the country right now. We've got this large blocking ridge of high pressure. That's allowing the heat in the eastern seaboard. Also into the west and smack dab in the middle, we got our storm system. That's what's finally going to kind of push this heat away, but also bring us some storms into the beginning of the weekend. So there's the front finally going to be getting a move on that will clear us out here into the Midwest. It'll also help to dry us out and cool us down in places across the Northeast. That does come with the possibility of severe weather, especially in the form of damaging winds. That'll be the case from Pittsburgh into Buffalo and across Western New York, and then getting into New England as we head into Friday night. And then by Saturday, we will see those scattered thunderstorms lingering, but starting to diminish across Northern New England. All right, a live look at Richmond right now. We've got a nice little shot shower overhead. That's keeping our temperatures down. Only 70, uh, looks like 78 degrees right now with mostly cloudy skies. Couldn't even rule out a couple thunderstorms, but we are tracking some storms here all across the southeast, kind of spot
spotted in nature. There's a look at the Carolinas. Let's start there near Charlotte, where we do have a severe thunderstorm warning, including the southeast side of Mecklenburg County. That was the same storm that popped up over Rock Hill, flash flooding and very heavy rainfall, a big concern. Eyes close, Daddy. Yes, dear. When life gives you more together time, DQ gives you your favorite treats, like blizzard treats, sundaes, and more. Thank you for making us part of your together. Look for drive through and takeout options at your DQ. Enjoy classic treats today. drive through or takeout at Dairy Queen. Attention, anyone on Medicare. Did you know you may now be eligible for additional Medicare-approved benefits, including dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage? Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you qualify. The Medicare Benefits and Questions line is now open to help anyone on Medicare make sure you are getting the benefits you deserve. Just call 800-310-1847 now to find out if you're eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan that includes a additional benefits like free hearing aids, free eyeglasses, free meal delivery, and free rides to medical appointments. You may also be eligible for $0 monthly premiums, $0 deductibles, or no copays. Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you qualify for additional benefits. There is no obligation to enroll. The call and Medicare benefits review are absolutely free. Did you know you may be eligible for additional benefits with a Medicare Advantage plan that includes additional benefits like dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage? The Medicare benefits and questions line is now open to help anyone on Medicare make sure you are getting the benefits you deserve. Just call 800-310-1847 now to find out if you're eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan that includes additional benefits like free hearing aids, free eyeglasses, free meal delivery, and free rides to medical appointments. You may also be eligible for $0 monthly premiums, $0 deductibles, or no copays. Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you qualify for additional benefits, including dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. There is no obligation to enroll. The call and Medicare benefits review are absolutely free. Just call 800-310-1847. 800-310-1847. Feel like getting back out there? Nissan is ready to help you with a bold award-winning lineup and great offers. Kick off summer with no payments for three months. Plus, we'll cover your payments for up to two more months. Or get 0% financing on 13 models for up to 84 months. This is a payday bar. It has a truckload of peanuts and a caramel core that gets the job done. It's 10.5 centimeters of awesome. Unless you get the king size, which is 14.7 centimeters of oh yeah. Payday. Get to it. Attention anyone on Medicare. Did you know you may now be eligible for additional Medicare approved benefits, including dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drug coverage? Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you qualify. The Medicare Benefits and Questions line is now open to help anyone on Medicare make sure you are getting the benefits you deserve. Just call 800-578-6983 now to find out if you're eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan that includes additional benefits like free hearing aids, free eyeglasses, free meal delivery, and free free rides to medical appointments. You may also be eligible for $0 monthly premiums, $0 deductibles, or no copays. Just call the toll-free number on your screen now to see if you qualify for additional benefits including dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. There is no obligation to enroll. The call and Medicare benefits review are absolutely free. Just call 800-578-6983. 800-578-6983.
All right, welcome back into Weather Center Live. A live look at the radar. Boy, we've got a lot of activity here from flash flooding. Uh, numerous warnings now popping up. One of the most recent ones in Kansas City because of a very heavy downpour that has just now returned over the metro area. We'll get to that. We've got a cluster of severe thunderstorms popping up from Florida through the Carolinas, Texas, and across the Rio Grande Valley. So let's get right on into it. We'll start here near Charlotte. That is where we have a severe thunderstorm warning for the Charlotte metro area. This is on the southeast side of the city. So downtown actually catching a break this time. It did look like for a moment there was going to move there uh, right overhead, but it did deviate a little bit off towards the, the northeast. So this impacting parts of 485 on the southeast side of Mecklenburg County, including Clear Creek, Matthews, and Mint Hill until 4 o'clock p.m. There's a little bit of rotation with that, uh, so be mindful we could have some damaging storms. Another little uh, severe thunderstorm. This one had a history of producing strong storms near Conyers, now pushing north of Lake Oconee and also there along I-20. We've got some really intense storms that have popped up in North Florida just south of Jacksonville now. St. Augustine, you are under a severe thunderstorm Morning, you're going to get creamed with very heavy rainfall, and I wouldn't even rule out some hail. We did have a hail report north of Tampa with some of these storms, so very dynamic atmosphere. And these storms in Texas are going to be the most concerning. This is the area where we have the highest risk for severe weather and tornadoes right now. Large hail, the biggest threat with this severe thunderstorm morning until 2:45 p.m. for the town of Menard to the west of San Antonio, Paul. Yeah, and farther west there to the desert southwest, it is just broiling out there. Some say, oh, it's a dry heat. Still 110? Yeah, that's oppressive heat here. Currently, dollar dollar bill, y'all, 100. We're keeping it 100. Well, actually, we wish we'd keep, keep it 100, but we're going to maybe 108, 109 this weekend here. And by the way, we are under an excessive heat warning here in Tucson right on through the weekend, and we share that with our neighbors farther north and west, up towards Phoenix and out towards the deserts of California, Las Vegas, Central Valley of California, and as you head towards the Bay Area and coastal sections, yes, the heat also coming to the coast. Heat advisors, including you in Oakland, San Francisco, San Jose as well, even Gilroy, the garlic capital of the world. Let's talk about these numbers here, because we're getting close to perhaps even some setting records today. Reno, mid-90s is a forecast. 97 is our a record high there. Even Vegas, 107 is a forecast. And Fresno could tie that 107-degree number today. That's our forecast. All thanks to Big Ridge of High Pressure building in, clearing the sky. Saw the blue sky there in Tucson, sinking air, compressional heating things up, and drying things out. So I look for this heat to be followed by an increasing fire danger, by the way. But it also builds across the Intermountain West and even parts of the Northern Rockies here in the West will see excessive heat, 10, 20, 30 degrees at times above average. And all these dots are potential record highs tomorrow, but expect them to continue Saturday and Sunday. Flagstaff, mid-90s, should be in the 70s. And Phoenix, 111 degrees, our forecast tomorrow. One shy of the record of 112 degrees there. And, yeah, even Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, we could see some records getting close to being tied. Boise, our forecast on Saturday, 99 degrees. A record high of 98 is in jeopardy there for sure. And even into Sunday, the heat continues. It also pushes a little farther into a little eastward progression. Rapid City, 83 is the forecast, and Casper, 91 is the forecast. 88 is a record high set 18 years ago. And it seems like things are getting hotter and hotter across the southwest, uh, Chris, but it's not just your imagination. we got numbers to kind of back that heating up. Yeah, heat being one of the things all three of these southwestern cities have in common. You're looking live at Las Vegas, Phoenix, Tucson, Arizona, all going to be hot, a scorcher today, but they share something else too. They're part of a concerning trend, all getting warmer. In fact, the southwest is the fastest warming region in the lower 48, and several southwestern metro areas topping the list of the fastest warming U.S. cities. Case in point, Las Vegas. Between 1970 and 2018, the city warmed by 5.76 degrees Fahrenheit. That far outpaces the national average of about 1.6 degrees since 1895. So as temperatures climb, here's a reminder for parents. When temperatures climb, cars heat up quickly. It doesn't matter your socioeconomic status. It doesn't matter your race. It doesn't matter your age. This is happening 
to everyone. Beth Brown knows that firsthand. She lost her daughter after her husband accidentally left the infant in the family car. And it doesn't even have to be that hot outside. Even on a mild 70 degree day, a car can turn into an oven in less than an hour, quicker as the mercury climbs. It was October 6, 2010. No sleep, you know, I'm not getting a lot of sleep. I actually thought I'd drive to my daycare. In Jennifer Hilton's case, her son survived. But stories like theirs happen far too often. Factors such as stress and fatigue, change of routine and distractions can lead to unknowingly leaving a child behind. And the body temperature of a child heats up three to five times quicker than an adult. To avoid a tragedy, 